kids are getting ready for spring break, teachers are encouraging them to spend some of that time reading. We want to encourage a love of reading and reading for enjoyment. Yesterday was National Read Across America Day, and kids of all ages could be seen reading and being read to. That girl was so big, and she walked tall. But for deaf schools, Read Across America can be more important than just books. The priority, of course, is trying to better their literacy skills and find a way to expose them to new vocabulary words, but, you know, in a fun way. Parents are often told the classic statistic that deaf kids graduate reading at a fourth grade reading level, but that usually tests them in their second language, English, which not all children are exposed to enough. You know, and letting kids sit down and read a story and having their parents sign it to them together, or even a mentor who's deaf, anyone really, that's critical to their language development. When looking at national averages, parent involvement in early reading habits is key to a child's success. Children whose parents did not read to them at a young age struggled more in all areas of school, according to the National Center for Education. And for deaf kids, this can be even more important when acquiring language. Reading is important for deaf kids because it's how we see the English language then we can read and apply it to our writing and make sure we have good grammar. Read Across America is an annual event and is always hosted on Dr. Seuss's birthday.